We wanted a dependable second car. And this Yugo's just what we need. The Yugo. It's safe to say this catastrophic little horror show on wheels is one of the worst cars ever made. Fortunately, vehicles have gotten much better in the decades since this hatchback was deported from America. Or have they? This is the short list. As with rotary dial phones and the Olsen twins' acting career, the Yugo is a distant memory. Still, its prehistoric refinement and atrocious quality remain a yardstick by which automotive failure can be measured. Luckily, it's almost impossible to buy a bad car these days, but still, not everything is perfect in the 21st century. In fact, here are the 10 least reliable new vehicles, according to our friends at Consumer Reports. And we start with a surprising model, one we adore, but unfortunately it turns out the Cadillac ATS is quite cantankerous. Problem areas include its infotainment and climate control systems. Now, what's more worrying than all of that are reported engine issues. Number nine is the Nissan Pathfinder. Yes, this rough and ready sport utility turned three-row crossover suffers from problematic electronics and a continuously variable transmission that's to be polite, less than robust, something that makes us less than likely to recommend this vehicle. General Motors' new mid-size pickups, the Chevy Colorado and GMC Canyon, have landed in eighth place on this rundown. Their climate control systems are prime offenders, as are in-cabin electronics. Gearbox woes are also prevalent. The bigger the truck, the bigger the problems. Number seven is the Ram 2500, a heavy-duty rig with high-profile vulnerabilities. According to Consumer Reports, the fuel system has proven to be troublesome, as has its power equipment and in-cabin electronics, issues that are sure to make you blow a fuse. The Chevrolet Suburban and GMC Yukon XL have earned a dubious sixth place finish here. These full-size SUV siblings suffer from problematic drivetrains and faulty electrical components, among other woes. And with that, we're at the halfway point, but if you think this is the worst today's auto industry can do, you'd better queue up the Bachman Turner Overdrive, because you ain't seen nothing yet. Oh yeah, yeah, that, that's the stuff. And at number five, we have the Chevrolet Corvette, America's beloved sports car. The latest C7 model is probably the best one ever, with frightening speed and world-beating dynamics. Unfortunately, its climate control system, interior electronics, and engine have given customers headaches rather than smiles. In fourth place, we find the Jeep Cherokee, an off-road ready vehicle backed by nearly 75 years of heritage. Detracting from this legacy of excellence are problem-prone driveline components, electrical woes, and an infuriating nine-speed automatic transmission. Like its blue-collar cousins, the Suburban and Yukon XL, Cadillac's Escalade has proven to be ill-tempered, winding up in the number three spot on this list. Electrical issues, drivetrain trouble, and gearbox gremlins are a few of its problem areas. Fiesta may be Spanish for party, but Ford has nothing to celebrate with its subcompact car of the same name. Malfunctioning transmissions are a major sore spot. Interior noise and leaks are issues as well. And apparently engineers in Dearborn have forgotten how to properly seal cars against the weather. Might I suggest a can of spray foam? And finally, we come to the least reliable new vehicle on the market today. And just like the dearly departed Yugo, it's built in Serbia of all places, in the exact same town, no less. And it's almost like the Yugo's ghost still haunts this assembly plant. It's just like that movie, guys, right? The, the ghost catchers, who you gonna ring? Ghost catchers, come on, sing along. Who you gonna ring? Ghost catchers. <laughs> Okay, this is spooky, but the Fiat 500L really seems like the spiritual successor to that old Yugo. 
Making its ancestor proud, this people hauler is plagued by electrical issues, transmission trouble, and defective power equipment. In fact, it is 276% less reliable than the average compact car. <laughs> what? So there you go, that's a rundown of the 10 least reliable vehicles on the market today according to Consumer Reports. But do you agree? Do you think their data is accurate? If not, let us know in the comments below. And also, if you have a personal vehicular reliability horror story, we'd love to hear about it. Again, post a comment and we may do a future shortlist on that topic. So until then, you take care. Well, before we break down all of these lights and the green screen, which you probably can't see right now since it's keyed out, I wanted to let you know about a short list. You should totally go right now to our YouTube channel and check out the 10 least reliable new cars on the market today. Oh yes, I know, that's the one you just watched here. But trust me, you're gonna wanna watch it again. Hell, put it on a loop. Your cat might love to see it. It could help plants grow even. Maybe even your dead grandmother who's in a coma right now, she might love to hear it as well. So go ahead, listen to the 10 least reliable vehicles on the market today, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on this lovely little button right here.